Hi, my name is Barbara Michelle, and today I would like to show you how to make a do-it-yourself version of the Stamper Stamp Positioning Folder. I have a couple of ways to show you. Um, I have a clipboard, it's just a miniature one, and a piece of hard plastic packaging. This came from a Swiffer clear top, or you can use any anything your stamps will stick to. It's fine. It doesn't have to be clear. I just prefer it clear. So anything a stamp will stick to. Any packaging. So what we're basically going to do is attach the clear plastic to the clipboard with some tape. Any tape will do. You can use duct tape or masking tape. Maybe not washi tape. That might be a little bit too thin. But anything else should do. So just line up your sides and put the tape on. And fold the tape over to the back. And then open up your plastic. We're going to put another piece of tape right down the middle there. Alright, I'm just going to trim off the excess. excess. I like the clipboard because you can use that to hold your paper in place. So we'll try it out. Put some paper in there. And get a stamp. Position your stamp. And then ink it up. Let's press it down. Missed a couple of spots like right there. We'll redo that one. So that was one example. Another way you can make the stamper stamp positioning folder is with an embossing folder. Okay, this is a Doris embossing folder and when I bought it, it was attached at the top, but I wanted to be able to slide the paper in and have this at the bottom. So I, I cut it apart. But to make a stamperer stamp positioning folder from it, You want the smooth outsides to be able to go together. So we're going to do it the same way that we did with the clipboard. We're going to tape it down the side. Okay. We're going to line them up. Place our tape on one side and fold it over towards the back. Want nice and tight. You don't want it to move around once you place your stamp on it, which would defeat the purpose. Cut off those edges. All right. And you can just line it up as best you can right on top of the other one. pretty sticky. Okay, 
So the smooth side of the embossing folder folds in because that's where our stamp is going to stick to, the smooth side. And the part that you don't normally emboss is towards the outside. You need to attach the paper. Um, we're going to use some washi tape. Hold the paper in place. Maybe another little bit down here so it doesn't move. Okay. And we're going to use this. It's a Jilly Nutting Party Girl stamp set. Let's put our girl on there. Open it up. Whoops, got this ink on my finger. Ink her up. And stamp her down. Okay. She turned out pretty good, but we'll stamp her again just to show that it's working. As long as the stamp stays in the same spot and the paper stays, stays in the same spot, you should be able to stamp it over and over again. So we've got her down, and let's add happy birthday or something. I'm just going to wipe that off. There you have it. Two do-it-yourself versions of the Stamperer stamp folder. We have the embossing folder and the clipboard with a piece of hard plastic. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe below.